Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Zhang Yuqin in Northern China's poor city Tianjin. And the seventh broad intelligence congress is underway here in Tianjin. And this congress boasts uh, 120,000 uh, exhibition area and many state of art, uh, AI, and 5G technologies applications are exhibited here. Let's find out more. Some smart new technologies are being used as support, and I have invited Mr. Pei to introduce it. This intelligence vehicle is a new generation of artificial intelligence robots of transportation, which independently developed by Tianjin Port, and we call it as ART. The ART is, has super advanced L4 level autonomous driving ability, and the ART all equipped with 5G battle navigation system and cameras and also the uh, remote controllers. And this kind of ART can automatically uh, control, being controlled and uh, generated in the, under all kinds of weather conditions and which considerably increase our efficiency of our port. And this blue car is powered by electricity. After upgraded several times, our ART has become the second second generation product. And this is the first uh, hydrogen, the world first hydrogen AI ART. And in the future, we will provide more about the clean energy, such as you know hydrogen energy. And this kind of operation and uh, successful of this ART has provided us more about the, the example and enlightened us to do the more exploration or do the research on the future clean energy such as wind power and so on. Next, we will see a remote control system at the port. Uh, now we are at this operational desk and from the screen you can see a container is unloaded from the ship bursting alongside the port. Uh, is this actually happening at the port far away from here? Yes, the device as you can see here is now specializing in operating container cranes. It can remotely control equipment such as, you know, uh, yard, yard cranes, key cranes at the port from 40 kilometers away. And, you know, to remotely control them to finish the job like loading, unloading, and also the handling containers. And this kind of uh, remote control system, as you can see here, is, has adopted 5G technology, which can achieve uh, remotely control, ultra remotely control, and also the low delay control compared to the traditional one. Thank you for your introduction. Thank you. I'm now in the exhibition area of the China's leading AI and intelligence speech uh, tech company, the iFly Tech. And I have heard that some the smart technologies have been put into use in the court. Uh, I have invited the uh, director of this company to introduce it. Okay. Real-time conversion of the trial speech into transcripts is realized and the accuracy of the speech recognition is uh, largely improved and the trial efficiency has been improved by 30 to 40 percent. This is the trial system and the trial system. The right side is the human language area. The right side is the human language area. The human language area can be very clear to see our evidence and share it. We have said that that uh, all the records uh, will be transcribed into this screen and to uh, uh, and it will to put into use in some uh, electronic document and you uh, the judges and can even to put some notes on this document. 
we are just need some a few minutes. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, okay. Uh, can you introduce, introduce yourself yes, first? Uh, and, uh, uh, my name is Mohammad Aslan Khan, and I am from Pakistan. Okay. And, and I, I here I am representing the Power Electronics Company. Share with us some opinions about uh, China's AI and or smart technology. Yes, China is making a lot of uh, progress in their research, like uh, AI, machine learning. Because mostly I also focus on the machine learning algorithms, and this is very important. And this uh, this is really a hot topic of research in this area. This area. Whatever the sharing is up, it's not the the machine does the balancing act. Hey, sir. How's Hello. Sorry? Bad <laughs> person. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. How's feeling about that? About the the product, I think it's very good, especially for the for the factory workers. Like I think, for example, when lifting the product, um, once I put my hands down, it brings me back up. So it helps. Uh, I think with the bike, I don't have to um, strain my back as much. And I think there's also I think balance mode, where I was then bending uh, bending down for workers that have to do more work while bending down. It relieves the pain from the body and helps the, the machine then helps you to, to balance like that. So I think it's quite useful, especially for factory workers. Yeah, thank you. Could you help us introduce yourself? Where are you from and uh, what's your job? Uh, my name is Safadwa and I come from Zimbabwe. Yes, so I'm a student. I'm a, I graduated, um, I studied business management in China. So I'm currently looking for products to export to my country, to Zimbabwe and also to Europe. We are before during my studies, so I'm trying to explore different products which I'll be able to um, to market in different countries. And so when I saw this product, it was quite uh, unique. Like I mentioned in, in the factory business, I think it will be quite useful. I think maybe this is the future um, as we know it. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. First, introduce yourself and which country are you from? I am from Iran, and uh, we are working with a robotic company in Iran as a business manager. Yes. How do you think of this Congress and what's your opinion about China's AI or smart technology? It's very, I mean, uh, advanced uh, exhibition about the artificial intelligence developments in, I mean, new century of China. Many different companies for different, I mean, products they are presenting in this exhibition and it's very, uh, I mean, uh, informative Congress for me as an Iran to this uh, uh, place that I'm coming and I hope we can have a collaboration, can make a collaboration between Iran and China, between companies and also the business. Yes. Thank you. And how, how do you think of China's AI technology? Uh, actually, China has a very fast development in this area and uh, they are really g g growing very fast in this research area and also in this technology and I, I think in the recent few uh, I mean few years uh, in the future maybe they will have more I mean developments in such kind of technologies yeah okay, thank you The traffic jam is a critical problem at the large and the growing cities to improve the efficiency of the law enforcement of the transportation. Uh, some automatic vehicles have been developed to patrol on the road and now I have uh, met a cute car and I have invited the, its developer to introduce it. Hello, uh, let me introduce the, our uh, AI pilot uh automate uh vac so this is our new production and uh, we developed this uh, vehicle for the uh, a lot of uh, uh company and uh, so this vehicle included the uh, air four level automated uh, vehicle so it can run in the city city road and uh, here has a leader and the camera it can uh, automatically uh, moving on the city road and uh, in the this height 
here, including the totally six cameras, and those cameras can uh, detect a three, 330 degree uh, image, so it can detect a lot of information. And in this side, here has the, the parking camera, here's three, three cameras used for the parking information. And uh, it can navigation by itself. So all of the, those sensors can combine our the computing, lot computing uh, unit. In this uh, box, we have the computing unit. So he, he can send the, a lot of the, in, uh, the information to our the platform. That's all the highlights of this Congress. We are wrapping up today's Xinhua Live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.